if you see me by myself, it's like, wow, that guy looks like Barack. You know, a sensible person would know that's not Barack because where's his security? Yeah. Where are the helicopters, you know? Yeah. But uh, if I walk around with a couple of guys in suits, is that Barack? The difference between that guy looks like Barack, is that Barack? That fine line. So I don't walk around with security all the time. So for the most part, people just know it's someone that really looks like the president. How much money is it actually possible to make as a lookalike? Well, I don't know if you saw my tax return, but I made $900,000 less than I did the year before, which goes to show you, even I'm doing worse under the ball. <laughs> that, again, that's a matter of national security. Yeah. I, I didn't see it right away. I had a mustache goatee, and uh, it took about almost a month for me to finally take it off and look in the mirror and put this face. That's all she wrote after that. Next thing you know, I'm in South Korea, HBO, Flight of the Concords. How has your family life changed during this period? A uh, little distant, you know, because of all the traveling. But uh, it's actually brought us closer together, you know, because... Uh, my family and I have always been close, but now they tend to worry a little more because of you know who I look like. Because they know as well as I know that it is not all fun and games looking like President Obama. But uh, I'll I'll take the blessing part over the curse part. It's I'm traveling a lot more because uh, you know the film festival circuit is big. Uh, we just did. All over the U.S., our international premiere was in Toronto, and now we're here in Bergen at Biff, and uh, it's incredible. First time in Europe, so I never had a passport, and now my passport is stamped from here to there, so it's changed quite dramatically. How close have you ever been to President Obama? Have you met him? I have not met him, not yet. Uh, we did get into the White House recently, a couple of months ago. Uh, got into the East Wing, uh, Roosevelt Building. And uh, once I walked in, all Secret Service was like, what's going on? Why is, what's, who is that guy? It was just tons of fun, tons of fun.